What's up, what's up? You ready for another full body workout? I know I am, I'm ready. I just did a nice Peloton ride, got a good sweat going on. Now we're gonna lift some weights and I'm excited to do that with you, okay? First, let's work on some, we're gonna warm up through our shoulders and our thoracic, and mid, mid back spine, okay? So things what we, we need today. I'm gonna use a set of heavy dumbbells, 20s, a set of lighter dumbbells, 10s. I also have one of my bands. If you have a thera band, a flat band, anything stretchy, that would be great. Or maybe you just have really light dumbbells, that could also work. Um, and then also a wall, and maybe even a door frame or a railing, or something that you can really pull onto, okay? Um, and you can always pause once we get to that point and come back once you see the stretch that we're gonna do. So first off, let's start with the wall. We're gonna stand here, shoulder width, uh, <coughs> shoulder height, arms distance away from the wall, okay? And then we're gonna take a nice step back, nice flat back here, and I want you to drop your chest to your arms. Arms are still, hands are in the same spot, right? Shoulder height. I'm gonna take a nice deep breath and allow my chest to fall through those arms, soft knees. Come forward, out of that. Bringing those hips forward slightly. I'm going to press those hips back again. Nice long spine. Drop the head. Drop the shoulders. <sighs> drop the chest. And come back up. We're going to do that three more times. Breathe. Exhale. And coming back in. Exhale. Hands are still shoulder height. You're feeling how your shoulder blades are kind of, your back's kind of squeezing in together as you drop the chest through those arms, right? You're gonna peekaboo. And come forward, nice. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and come closer to the wall again. <clears throat> I'm going to come in nice and close to the wall. You need to have a little bit of space. Maybe you put, I've done this before in another video of a yoga block here to add a little bit of space, but making sure that it's consistent so you know what you're leaning against, okay? Palm facing in. How far up can you bring that palm? You can add a little bit of rotation forward through this arm, right? And take it back. Okay, here we go again. See, my arm keeps, my hand keeps wanting to turn. We're going to do one more. And maybe you just go back as far as you can, right? And bring it forward. Okay, let's see it on that other side, shall we? And one. Two more. That's right. one. Beautiful. All right, now we're going to come into the doorway. Okay? So we're just going to, I've got my doorway here. I'm going to have to angle myself a little bit to give myself room. Take outside leg, step it in. I'm going to reach across. So I'm not going exactly overhead, but maybe more like nose height. And then I want you to imagine pushing your hips down. So you're not just leaning, but you're going to reach through this outer hip, okay? So I'm going to reach down. And I'm going to keep that outside hip knee straight. So I'm trying to reach down to the ground. Do that one more time. Ideally, I'd be right here, right? But I can't show you exactly. So just make sure you're not rotating too much. And push that hip up. Hips going out and down. All right, 
turn it around, let's do that on the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna step, again, outside leg comes in, you come back. I'm gonna keep that knee straight, you can bend that inside knee, come across, and reach down and out, the, down to the side of that hip. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to shut this door. We're going to take it to the floor. We're going to go into our, onto our bellies. We've got um, Superman, which we'll do later again. But right now, I'm just going to warm it up a little bit. So why don't you start with your arms down in front of you as we lift up through the legs and the chest. We're just going to bring those hands back. Palms will be on the uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Palms will face the ceiling. And then turn those palms will face down. Lift up. And back to the There we go. Okay. Circle, palms face down. Our elbows high. Careful letting them drop too low, okay? We're just going to two more of these. And we're going to use your band, whatever you've got. I would have my legs closer, but then I'm going to hit the floor or the wall. That's why my legs might be like weird. Awesome, where's your band? All right. So I'm going to lift my band around my feet. Um, and if your band is really short, yeah, like a TheraBand at a certain length, um, just bring those knees in more. Okay, I'm not too worried about uh, working our core right here. I just want you to feel nice and tall supported. Okay, so you can have your knees bent, you can have them straight. Um, I want your palms facing down. We're going to row up nice and wide. Turn so that the elbows are underneath the wrists. And press it straight up. And back down. And that kind of stuff. Real life right there, right? Happens. Two. Elbows wide. Wrists over the elbows. And up. As I reach up, I also try to make sure I'm reaching back, right? So I'm not allowing those arms to go this way. I'm really trying to go up overhead. Don't need a lot of resistance for this one, right? Sit tall through the upper body. We are working that upper back. Should rotate your cup. Okay, we've got two more. And then we work with our weight. Okay, nice. We'll use that again at the end of class, but for now we can get rid of it. We're going to use both sets of dumbbells, okay? And if you're only using one dumbbell, then you're only using one dumbbell, totally fine. Um, I am using, right now, I'm going to start off with my heavier one, okay? We're going to go into one big overhead. Lunge, uh, snatch, and then we're going to press up into our lunge. We're going to bring it all the way back down. Control that weight to the floor. Okay? So, again, it's a big pull, shrug, elbows out high. Flip it. From here, press up out of those legs. Control that motion back down, and we're drive through again. Okay? Here. Not, so here, not here, right? With the, that, that wrist going out. I'm showing you now, but now we're going to get to it. Done. Ready. Let's go. Press up. I 
are you doing? Use a little power from those hips. You got three more on this side. And we switch right over to the other side. Maybe you need a folded up towel under your knee. One more. Oh, yeah. Felt that, yeah? Okay, I'm going to turn face you on this one. All right, we got eight here. Drag it up. Drive the hips forward. Press. Nice and strong into both feet. That's it. Okay, last three. Shrug it. Squeeze those glutes. As you drive those hips forward. Last one. Last one. Nice. Okay. I want you to get the heaviest thing you have. Maybe it's one dumbbell or kettlebell. I'm going to grab my two weights. And we're going to squeeze them together as one weight. And we're going to pull it in close. Okay? So if you're holding your kettlebell, um, you're just same thing. Okay? Elbows are coming in. Imagine where that ribcage starts to splay open. That's kind of where we're going to pull to. Hips are back. Glutes are tight. Chest is out. Not rounded. Okay? Set the hips back, back is long. Okay? All right, so let's do it. Squeeze the dumbbells together. Drop it forward. Squeeze. Two. Three. Four. Stay with me. I know I said heavy. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, I'm switching those out for my lighter one. We're doing bicep curls. If you only have one weight, <clears throat> so I'm going lighter so I can hold one arm up while I do the other arm. Now, if they're too heavy, you might not want to hold it up because I don't want you to strain, right? Um, so that's where I was going with that. All right, palms facing forward, up and down. Control that one arm that's moving all the way up and all the way down. Squeeze that left arm. Okay. You got it. Last one. All right, shake it out. Now that arm's got to go, so I hope that, that last one is strong. Next time we do this, maybe you repeat and start with the other arm, okay? Here we go. Here we go. All the way up, all the way down. Two, three. Squeeze that right. more before you put this down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautifully done, you guys. That was round one. We repeat it two more times. We have another tri set that we'll do three times, and we have our little uh, finisher, okay? I uh, mean little, I mean short. Okay? Let's do it. Starting off with that 
full body move, right? With our snatch. Yeah, shrug it up, shrug it up. Okay, let's keep those back toes under. I'm gonna hinge it, give myself a little bit of room to power those hips forward, right? As I power the hips forward, I'm also shrugging. Now what comes out wide. Here we go. Drive down into the toes on the back foot, the heel on that front. Control it on the way down. You got it, nice and easy. Come on. I want you to feel like you are going up with that dumbbell with a lot more speed than where it comes when it comes down right here. Oh, good job. Other side. Oh, ready? Set. with you right now. Halfway. Come on. Drive it up. Nice strong pull from the floor. Flip that hand forward. Flip that wrist. squeezing together. If yours does not feel heavy, like you feel you could rep out a few more reps, then I want you to do that. And then you'll meet us for our curl. Okay? Remember though, hips go back, chest comes forward, the, back, the spine is long. Okay? Slight bend in the knees, don't lock them out. Okay? Squeeze the dumbbells together. Let's keep them together. One. Shoulder blades together. Four. Bringing those wrists in front of the body. Not out to the side. We'll do that later. Good. Look at that. Shoulders coming back. You got three more. Three. Two. One. I'm gonna switch those out. I'm really gonna do that one more time. Okay, let's just all switch left arm first, okay? And hold that right arm up. Here we go. The palm forward. We're going four. Three, two, and one. Oh, ready? Let's do it. One. Squeeze on that left arm. Six. Come on. Feel that burn. Or don't let that left wrist drop. Three. Two, one. All right, you guys. Last round here. Come on, let's just get into it, get it over with, get it done, move on. We'll get water after this, okay? Okay. Three, two, and one. Up. Come on, you got eight of these, and you're done. Hinge. 
drive it up. Keep that dumbbell in close to your body. Two. Trying to get my knee forward. There we go. Needed that little extra cushion. All right, you got two more on this arm. You're done with this move. One. Two. You see what happens when that core is not, you're not thinking about it? You always gotta think about it. My doctor keeps giving me weird smiles <laughs> around the corner of the room. She keeps walking by. Okay, here we go. Eight, and we're done. body move in the next set, of course, right? There you go. Work that lower body as well. Two, I hope you're feeling this in those legs. Here we go, last one. Oh, that was too slow to my, too slow. Oh, okay. Last set on that heavy row. I really want you to squeeze together and then back so the shoulders don't roll forward. Back, open this up, okay? Make room. Here we go. One. You see your chest is trying your chest, trying your heart forward. Three. Mm, this is heavy. I hope you have something heavy. Can we get two more? Last two. One. Slow it down. Mm. Oh, good job. I shake it out. Oh. Okay. Oh, last time with these suckers. You get to choose which one you want to start with. Which one is harder for you? Okay. Up to you. I'm going to start with my right. So I'm going to hold that left. And we got 12. One, two, three. All the way up, all the way back. Elbows back. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Come on, squeeze that right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last three, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, good job. Shake it out, get your water. All right, we've got one body, full body move again with one dumbbell. Get your water, watch. The dumbbells in the right hand, the right leg's back. You're gonna go row out to your side now. Elbow is still in, but you're out here, you're not here, right? So you have one row. Then we're gonna come down and we're gonna clean it up. Not shrug again to the shoulder and step in. Row and then power shrug. Bring it to the shoulder, okay? We're doing eight of those on one side 
it is on the other. This one should get that heart rate up again. Your weight should be moderate for that clean, that power, that shrug, right? It's again, drive your hips forward, get a little shrug, and catch the dumbbell here and send it up overhead. Although it's very similar. Ready? One, two, three, come on. Four, five, six, last two. Girls, okay. All right, here we go. Row, step it in, hold it, row, clean and step. Three, see that quick shrug? Watch that shoulder. Four. Switching again. Ooh. Two. My arms. My lighter weights. This time, palms will face in at the bottom of our curl. Turn it. Nice. We're just alternating. This should feel like it gives you a little break, right? Your weights are really like maybe you're just doing both at once. But right now it should start to burn, yeah? Or already be burning. We got three more on each arm, so we're on six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Shake it out. We're going back to that full body move. Two more rounds of that. Our finisher. Told you. These workouts, it's harder to push play than it is to finish it through, right? Come on, you guys. Let's do it together. Right, right, right arm on that dumbbell, right leg back. Give me a nice wide row. Really squeeze. Clean. One. Two. Three, four, come on, it's quick on that second part. Five, six, last two.
three, two, two, one, one. I really will hope you're turning it out of the top. Turn it up. Okay, last round. Quick sip of water. Let's do it. We gotta finish her. About 30 minutes. We gotta get this done. Get this done. We had a really nice warm up though, right? For all of this. I hope so. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, right arm. Nice row. Look at how quick that is, right? Drive from those hips. And a shrug, too. Both knees are bent or standing tall. Tell you what, that's it for those heavier dumbbells, okay? Our finisher does not include those. Okay, ready? Our shoulders up and back, nice and tall. One, turn it out, right? Here, see how you can kind of see my knuckles as they come up? Little turn, just enough, just enough to squeeze on that bicep. band and your lighter dumbbells for this last part, okay? We have three exercises. We are going to go through them with very short reps, timing, 20 seconds each. But we're going to stick with that one exercise for multiple times before we move on to the next. So we're going to like exhaust those muscles before we move on, okay? So a little different. Short rests in between where we can just shake it out and then we're just going to go right back into it, okay? So the first thing we're going to start off with is your band or maybe it's light dumbbells where you're going to hold here with your thumbs up if you're going light dumbbells, okay? I'm going to hold my band, palms down, shoulders down. So be careful of that. Pull the shoulders down. You ready? Set. Go. We're just going to pull apart. Two. I want you to think about keeping the squeeze on those shoulder blades. You're never totally letting it go. Okay? All right. So we got this for another four, three, two, one. Yes, we're doing Tabata timing, but we're not doing it technically with the four rounds for four minutes. So I don't want to really call it Tabata. Ready? Set. Here we go. Pull. Two. Ah! So make sure you're not pulling from your elbows, right? You're not pulling out here and then straightening. Your arms are straight the whole time. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Wrists are straight. And time. Yeah, one more. Four, three, two, here we go, last one. 
You might not be going to this much range of motion this time, are ya? Carefully not pull it on your wrist. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, shake it out. Okay, we're back into curls. This time, two arms at once. Hammer, we're gonna pause every time we come up. Slowly lower it down, okay? Okay, we go in four, three, two, let's go. Pause, slowly lower it down. Because this is short, timing, each rep needs to count. You got four, three, two, and one. You ready to do that again? Good, because it's happening in three, in two, one, come up, squeeze. time. And we have one exercise left. We're done. All right, ready? Three, two, let's go. Last time. Slow lower down. Slow. Come on, get three, two, one, okay, we're in your plank. We're gonna tap the shoulders. If you're not comfortable coming up onto the plank on your hands or your fists, um, then you can come to your elbows and reach forward, okay? Forward as in towards the floor, otherwise we're here. Or you can be on your knees too, okay? But either way, I do wanna encourage you to use, take one hand off the floor to create shoulder stability and core work, okay? So, knees can be out a little wider or your feet. We go in three, two, one, lift, let's go. Try to have as little motion in those hips as possible. Four, three, two, one. Good, one down, two to go. We're done. Four, three, two, let's go. Don't try to rush through this. I want you to work on really keeping your torso still, pressing the floor away from you, lifting your knees. Four, three, two, one. Last one. You got this. Ready? This is going to be the stillest one yet. Three, two, let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Roll those shoulders out, you guys. That was awesome. Can you come join me in a child's pose? Please reach out long with those arms. Mm, knees open, belly between. Walk those hands to one side. Walk the hands to the other side. Come back to center. When I'm under, palms up. Take this hand, push a little and rotate that torso. Feel that stretch to the back side of the shoulder. Deep breath. You're done. Let's do that on the other side. Oh, come back to that. That's it, y'all. I am loving these. I hope you are too. See you again tomorrow. Why not?